Namaste. Suprabhatam. Good morning. Swagatam. Welcome. Welcome to Thursday, 11th of June, and uh, our yoga practice for today. Yesterday, we explored uh, a few asanas uh, flowing from one to the other, elongating the spine. And at the end, we just went through some Nadi Shuddhi or Anulom Vilom. What we're going to do today is we are going to go back to doing a bit of sukshma yoga, micro yoga, and really focusing on approximately half of today's session on pranayam or yeah. pranayamic techniques. Okay, so different ways of breath work um, and just really focusing on different parts of your body to help us to feel even our natural breath and also then work on our natural breath to explore some more pranayamic techniques that will really benefit us, our family, our friends around us uh, in, in the long run. So it's quite important that um, you can grab some tissues because you may need them. A lot of us, the weather's a bit cooler than it has been over the past few weeks, may have a bit of a runny nose, or we just might need to cleanse the nose through some of the practice along the way. So we'll start with our Brahmanad, Omkar. Uh, we'll start, then we'll go into some Sukshma Yoga, and then we'll have a really good session of Pranayam, or different types of breathing techniques. Okay, so sitting nice and tall, back nice and straight, hands, on our knees and thumb and index finger touching. Moisten your lips, close your eyes, relax your face. Listen to your breath. Listen and observe your breath entering your body and leaving. Lovely long breaths, breathing in and out and in and out. Deep breath in for our Brahmana. Ah. 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 Nice and gentle. So if any of us want to do any of the practices today, sitting on a chair, feel free to do so. Um, most of it you will be able to adapt on a chair. Um, nothing's too strenuous, nice and simple, sukshma yoga and pranayam. So please feel free to grab a chair and feel comfortable, but make sure your back is nice and upright and you have a chair in which you can uh, ensure that your feet are more or less flat on the floor. Okay. So first of all, let's just very gently just start by mobilizing our neck. And we'll synchronize the breath and the movement. So as you turn, you're inhaling and exhaling. And looking up and down. Up. And down, up, and down. So movements of the shoulders, up, and neck at the same time. And breath work, lots going on. Breathe in, and out, nice and gentle. Pay attention to the movement, in, and out, and in, and out. Last one, in. And out, great. And just tilting your head to the side. Nice stretch there, nice and static. And to the other side. And then the semicircles at the front. 
So remember, all these small movements a lot of people think are maybe not very useful. They really help to open up subtle energy channels and help release energy flow through the body and also really help in preparation of our body for uh, yoga. If you're going to carry on a bit more yoga, it really helps there. So let's do the face, what we practiced a couple of weeks ago. So we start with, I'll take my glasses off. So we'll start with our eyebrows. So we're getting our index finger and our thumb, and all we're going to do is very gently, from the base of your eyebrows, nice pinching, pressing motion as you travel along your eyebrows, really simple. And just instantly feel as you move along, you feel like you are releasing stress, pressure. Just maybe do it sort of three or four times. Do it one more time. Maybe the last one, just add a little bit more pressure, whatever you can, sustain and maybe hold it for a little bit longer as you travel down. Good. Then we're going to take our fingers to our ears and we're just going to press from the top of the ears all the way down. And sense there's a difference as you move along your ears and you're putting that pressure along the edge of your ears. And we'll get to our earlobes. So we're going to press on our earlobes and a gentle tug down, nice and gentle and release. Good. Press and release. Good. Press and release down. Good. Relax. Okay. We'll get the thumb underneath the jawline and move it along, along the jawline. Just really opening up these areas. Okay, good. And then working still on the jaw, just going to move the jaw side to side, nice and slow. You can open your mouth if it's more comfortable. And up and down. Good. Okay, we're going to interlace our fingers and place the hands over our forehead. And we're going to, nice gentle pressure applied to the forehead, going into the forehead, and at the same time, forehead is going to push into the palms. So nice pressure applied to the frontal lobe, the frontal part of your brain, and just pushing. It's great to do on a chair as well. If you're feeling a bit stressed, if you've been on, on a screen all day at work, and relax, good. And press. Relax. And one more time. Press. Try and keep your back straight when you're doing this. And relax, good. Just massaging the top, the bridge of our nose, traveling down to your nostrils. Okay, and just warming up the face. Already feeling quite invigorated in your face. Just do a bit for the eyes. We're going to take the thumb in front of us. Your focus, or your drishti, is your nail. And keep your head nice and still. And just allow your eyes to travel as your nail or your arm goes to the side. A nice periphery vision there all the way. Carry on moving until it comes back into that vision. Good. Now, when we're doing this, you can try and have a little challenge. If you can keep your eyes as wide open as we can, going up and avoiding too many blinks as well. Traveling down, close your eyes. Might have that stinging sensation, absolutely fine. Just releasing a few more tears and really help to cleanse the eyes. Other arm up, the thumb up, eyes to your thumbnail. Eyes wide if you can. Take the arm to the side, follow your nail. And all the way back. Okay, 
open wide. Bit trickier as your eyes go quite high. All the way down. Back up again. Close your eyes, yeah. Slight stinging, a little bit of that watery film produced in your eye, that's absolutely fine. Do a few more blinks. Okay, and let's just put our hasta, our hands on our shoulders and just release through the shoulder blades. Nice, gentle movements. Let's put some breathing in. Breathing in and out. And go the other way. Okay, take the arms to the side and just open your arms up, palms facing up. Nice simple movements of just touching our fingertips or our unguli to our skanda, our shoulders. And then take the arms to the front. Nice rotations from the wrist and then take it the other way and relax put your hands on your knees and we're going to do some rotations from the hips so when you're doing these rotations sometimes we end up really kind of tilting the body and taking the hip off the ground see if we can keep the hips nice and grounded and really using that waist to take us around, change direction, breathe in and out. Okay, good. I just come off my block and we'll take the legs out in front of us. Okay, so we're going to just sit nice and relaxed with our arms behind us and our feet together. It's going to keep our feet together. We're going to rotate your feet together and then take it the other way. Nice and simple. Like widen legs and then rotate inwards. And then go the other way. Okay, let's try a little bit more if we can explore. Take the legs a little bit wider and see if we can touch the big toe into the floor. Try and keep the, knee, the knees nice and straight. And then open up and touch your little toe to the floor. Okay, so we're taking toe in, little toe out. In and with breath. So we're rotating from our pelvis. Legs are nice and straight in and out, in and out, good. Let's do the ankle. So we're gonna take one leg up. We're gonna take the hand and it's gonna just fit through the finger, the toes, okay? So taking each finger, we might need a bit of guidance for this. Take the fingers through the toes and make sure our ankle is nice and free and rotate. Here come the way, Drini Chatwari. One chant the other way, ekam, dwe, trini, chatwari. One to remember, we can do this on the chair, ready? Good, and let's start, do the other side. Ekam, dwe, trini, chatwari. One chant, ekam, dwe, trini, chatwari. And one chant, good. Let's take the legs, they're still in front of us, we're gonna take one in, all the way up, nice and simple. All we do is inhale, exhale. Good, change legs. Good, bring both feet in together, soles of the feet touching, and just sort of moving the body, making sure 
Let your sitting bones out into the floor. Interlace your fingers, back nice and straight. Start that butterfly motion. Is your spine nice and straight and moving? Deep breath in and see how much you can lower your knees towards the floor. You might, you might have started here. Can we get a little bit lower? And can we hold it still? Perhaps some of us, we could take another deep breath in and see if they will go even lower and just carry on your butterfly movements. And the trick is here, yes, it's a bit of practice and apias, but it's also just letting go. Letting go of all those muscles. The more we kind of tense up, they'll be tight. They won't move, they won't be free. So really just letting go. Let go of your tensions, your worries. Let them go and feel everything just loosening up, letting go and moving. And just really open up as much as you can. Back straight if you can. A couple of deep breaths in. And some of us may want to have a bit of a challenge here. So we'll take a deep breath in and we're going to exhale and just fold forwards. Tuck your head in and breathe in and come up. One more time. Deep breath in and exhale. Breathe in and come up, good. Just go into Sukhasan, we'll have a gentle rotation of our spine, very nice and simple. So in Sukhasan, we're gonna take our hands to the opposite knee and the hand that was free, it's gonna be at the back of us on the floor, uh, in the center of our spine. So look forward at the moment. This is the shoulder, the rear shoulder that we wanna really rotate backwards and help open up that extension and that rotation. Okay, so deep breath in. Exhale, nice gentle twist, looking back if you can. And see if you can align your chin in line with your shoulder. Good, come back, swap arms. Deep breath in and exhale. And come forwards. Super, let's just relax into that bit and let's just sort of straighten out our spine, so interlace your fingers and take your arms as high as you can, really stretch that spine, lower your sitting bones into the floor, feel grounded, and nice tilt, back to the center, another tilt, back to the center, lovely stretch, and exhale, wonderful. And just shake it out through your hands, make sure we've got that smile, warm up your fingers and your palms. Okay, so if you're going to use your block, if you have a block or a cushion, if you just um, grab hold of it and just sitting nicely on your block. Remember, when we sit on our block again, we don't sit on the whole block like this, else it's the same thing really as sitting on the floor, but we kind of sit on the edge. So our knees become lower than our hips. That's the whole aim, which helps our spine to really sort of extend and you feel a bit more upright in this, in this posture, opening up the thorax to help us to really breathe and taking lots of oxygen. Okay, so I have my tissues next to me. First thing we're going to do is just listen to our breath, our natural breath, and we often don't do this. So we're just going to breathe in and breathe out. Just tap in to your normal breath. We don't listen sometimes to our breath. We don't realize what's going on. Let's put our hand, one on our navel, one just underneath our neck, breastbone. And we're just going to breathe in and what we're going to try and do is just observe the lower hand opening and closing. Okay, so breathing in and out. Keep this hand nice and still so the chest isn't moving at the top. And breathe in and out. 
in and out. So known as diaphragmatic breathing from your abdomen, breathing in and out, in and out. Let's just explore the next type of breath, which is thoracic breath, or we're going to work on our rib cages. Okay, so we're going to use our hands, just going to go on the side of our rib cage. So they're not here right now. This is more of a technique which you could do lying down, although we may be able to practice a little bit of this. Okay, but we're just going to today just go on the side here. And you can feel your ribs. Yeah, so when we inhale, we want our ribs to move outwards, okay? Open up outwards. So we're gonna actively, as you inhale, feel that chest widen and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Good. So that's our um, thoracic breath and let's just work on clavicular breath which is just at the top taking that air right to the top and using the upper part of our lungs to help us breathe so breathing in and out in and out what should be happening lower hand should be moving out Rib cages now should be widening and taking that breath right to the top, feeling that hand here moving up a bit. And exhale, lower the hand at the top, ribs come together, tummy comes in. So just starting from the base, ending at the top, opening your rib cages in between. Breathing in. Fully use of your rib cage, your lungs, exhale. And one more time, breathing in. And exhale. Open your eyes and lower them down. So this is the full breath when you can divide it into abdominal or diaphragmatic, or thoracic just from your rib cage and then moving it up and then whole breath is when you use you utilize your whole lungs to take a lovely deep breath in really feeling that expansion of your chest as you take all of that air in okay. so what we'll do is we're going to now work on just clearing our nasal passageways through nadi shuddhi also known as anuloma viloma so we'll take our right hand up Okay, this is my right hand. You may be looking at me, mirroring me, but raise your right hand and just bend the first two fingers, okay? Turn your palm like we did yesterday and your thumb resting on your right nostril and just have a quick little practice of just alternating, opening one, closing one. We'll do five breaths from the left and then we'll do five breaths from the right and then we'll start Anulom Vilom. So we'll cleanse each nostril out first. Okay, so just resting your thumb. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, last one, inhale, exhale. Swap over, same thing, opening up your right nostril, breathe in, ex, in, ex, in, ex, in, X, in, X, 
and in and X. Okay, release your nose, have a little wiggle. And let's start on a long villon. We'll do 10 rounds. One round is, we'll do five rounds maybe to start off with. One round is full, back again. Okay, ready? So starting from here and all the way back, exhaling is one full round. So um, going into our uh, Nasagra Mudra, which is our hand ready for Anulom Vilom. Thumb on your right nostril. Breathing in. Swap and out. In. Swap and out. In. Swap out. In. Swap out. In. Swap out. Maybe deepen that breath. Elongate it. In. Swap out. Last two. Make it lovely and deep. Breathe in. Swap out. In. Swap out. In. Swap out. In. Swap and out. Open your eyes. Breathing in, may need a tissue just to clear any thoughts of your nose. A couple of deep breaths. Let's finish with, let's see if we can go in a little bit, a few more minutes and we're gonna go into now we've opened up our lungs and our nasal passageways. We're gonna try and do a bit of practice on pastrika. Okay, pastrika literally means bellows breath. So like a bellows and an ironmonger, that, you know, that sort of uh, instrument that actively takes in air and pushes out air. So in the same way, that's what we're going to do. If you have high blood pressure, hypertension, or any um, cardiac issues, um, please listen to your body. Um, and maybe watch first and see if your body is able to manage or just do a couple of rounds um, if you feel that you can and then stop, okay? Because it's lots of uh, breathing and breathing out and also similarly with asthma. So what we'll start is we'll take our arms up to the side and we're actively breathing in through the nose. So it's... Yeah inhalation, active exhalation, and using our hands almost like a pump. That pump, that bellows, that inhales and exhales and pushing it in and out, really active inhalation, exhalation, and feeling it all through the nasal passageways. Really, really useful. Ready? And... Last one. Relax your hands. Lots of heat produced in the body. Lots of oxygen circulating through your body. Close your eyes. Really feel lots of opening. Breathing 
and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Let's have a few moments of silence. Let's just check in. Let's just check that whatever position we're sitting in. We've got a lovely elongated spine. Feeling nice and still. Tucking our chin into our chest. Just relaxing the face, bringing a nice, gentle smile. Hands in Chinmaya Mudra. If our mind wanders, just bringing it back to following our breath. Open your eyes. Let's do our mantra at the end. Hands in Anjali Mudra. May you all be happy. May you all be healthy. Let us see the good in each other. May no one suffer from pain, disease, misery or pain. May everybody be happy. Om Shanti 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 Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramayaha Sarve Bhadrani Pashantu Makashit Dukha Bhag Bhavet Om Shanti 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 Rub your palms, palming. Warm them up, cup shapes with your palms, press them, press them over your eyes, keeping your eyes nice and free, feeling that cool darkness brought to your eyes. Open your eyes inside your hands. Slowly, just widen the fingers. Take your hands away from your face. Have a great day, everybody. Shubha Dinam. Namaste.